This is an 1856 painting by a British artist called Percy Carpenter. For us at the National Museum, this is a, this is a, a, a really important painting uh, for quite a number of reasons. Uh, for one, this uh, has strong documentary value. It shows us what Singapore looked like uh, in the mid-19th century. But at the same time, you would notice that the artist has chosen to place certain individuals at the foreground of this painting, standing at the edge of Mount Wallach. And that's where we are sort of invited to survey the land together with these individuals. And that's where the, the mystery, I believe, uh, lies as well. We're, we're not told who exactly these people are, but most certainly we can try and hazard a guess. And perhaps even, uh, as one theory goes, this uh, was Sultan Mahmud of, of Linga who was uh, known to, in fact, get in trouble with the Dutch for his repeated visits to Singapore, precisely around this time. All sorts of stories that you can uh, inject and, 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 and put into this, into this picture. And I think uh, for us at the museum, that's why uh, historical painting is, is so particularly exciting. And uh, right now, as this painting goes to travel uh, to, to the ACM, I believe that's another opportunity for new stories to be woven in uh, into what is already a very, very rich uh, picture of Singapore. This painting is important for the Port Cities exhibition because it sets the place and the context and the right atmosphere for the exhibition. It will be the first object visitors will see when they come to our exhibition. Set in 1856, the painting depicts Mount Wallach, a place that no longer exists today in Singapore. Mount Wallach was levelled in 1885, almost 30 years after Percy Carpenter painted this painting. The site that remains today uh, is Teluk Aye. Beyond Mount Wallach, we see immediately the port of Singapore, the very place in which propelled the British enactment of the system of free trade, and it is the very place and site in which Singapore encounters the international maritime community. This specific vantage point of the Singapore Harbour not only illustrates the openness of our shores, but beyond that, the expansiveness of the ocean. The established Arab and Indian trading network existed through the Straits of Malacca from as early as the 13th century, and they preceded European involvement um, in our region. So we have from the 13th century globally coveted luxury goods such as Chinese silks, brocades, tea, ceramics, Indian cottons. Uh, they have all been traded from our shores and from there Arab dows and Chinese junks distributed them globally. So this show really is not just about East meets West, but really looking at the idea of East meets East and the lesser known transnational networks that existed within Asia.